bit. Coming down. It's like it's nothing. It's not how you want to start the day. Bit of air. I know, one of the lads. He's gonna take this one this morning, so. It's ready for a minute. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, you get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do the Sunday video. Um, okay, today, going around some cows, but I think they're all in. It is the biggest day on the farm for a hell of a long time. Not gonna lie, a little bit nervous, got a bit of a nervous uh, aura about me. It's, it's super duper exciting. We are, no cows there, we are taking down the Lowe's building. Oh my god. <laughs> building that was put up in 1960 on this farm and it was second hand when my dad bought it. It cost my granddad 1200 quid to buy it and to put it up. It's getting taken down today. Um, super duper exciting. Like I say, I'm really quite nervous about it. I don't know why. It's just a bit scary. Can't go back. I've taken all the cubicles out anyway. You would have seen the last video. I still need to just move those. Be nothing of a job this morning. I'm gonna guess we're gonna come here about half seven, eight o'clock. I've been chatting about this for a long time now. So what I'm gonna do is get my cows in, get my calves, then set some cameras up, which I'll show you soon, and then wait for Pete, because he's gonna come here. He's dropped all his gear off already, ready to start. So, right, let me get these jobs done. Hey girls, no one's outside today, they're all inside. Uh, they get the option to go in or out. And uh, yeah, let's get this done and start the day. How we mean to go on. Hey girls. That was a fat heifer. Go on you. Right, so lads have just turned up, which is awesome. Don't even know why I was nervous about it. Really chilled, like, yeah, we're just gonna have a brew and then we'll start, so it's amazing. So they're gonna get stripped up to do the hazard sheets. So the first job they're gonna do is take the sheets off. There is like minute asbestos per sheet. It's like 0.01, but still they've got a hazard suit up. So they're all gonna just have a brew, just get suited up. They said they can't really take everything off to have a brew later on. So that's the plan. And then they're gonna start stripping all the roof sheets off and then dispose of it. They said it was gonna probably take two days to get it all off carefully and neatly and done. I think it's gonna crack a lot, which isn't good with asbestos. That's the first job. What I have got though, on my socials, on my Snapchat and my Instagram, well, I asked people for time-lapse camera ideas, because I'd like to get time-lapse, I'm gonna try it. I know what's gonna happen, I'm gonna fail miserably. I've gone for two time-lapse cameras. I've gone for this one that was a little bit more expensive. It's called a Brinino TLC 2020, so I'm gonna guess 2021. And then this one was the model before it, which is a little bit less advanced. Hopefully it does a good job. So I'm gonna get it today, get them both filming, and fingers crossed they do what they say on the tin, keep them up for the next five months to get a whole time-lapse video of it. That's the plan. We've got these going every five minutes minutes they're going to take a photo if it works out as how I'd like to work it out and I think it would be awesome I think it'd be a great idea I did look at a professional company to do it but you're looking at the best part of anywhere between two and a half to five and a half thousand pounds of cuts I got so these guys this camera was about 350 quid 400 quid and this one was 200 quid so for 600 quid hopefully I can do it myself would have less stress spending all that money seems a bit daft for just time lapse when I'm going to do a lot of drone and YouTube stuff anyway. Right, let's get these pinned up and then the guys can get started. And obviously it's decided to rain as well, so that's fantastic. Said no one ever. Yeah, I'm thinking I screwed it just to there. Hey, well, I wouldn't be good at your job. I don't like heights. Do you not? Oh, no. I'll take it up then see how high it'll go. <laughs> there we go. Tilt it down a bit. This height's a little bit better. I feel like I'm getting chauffeured. <laughs> Think of a better vehicle to get chauffeured. <laughs> Going up in the world. Not touching it. The issue is, I gave that McKay to feel a bit of a hard time the other day, and it's not wanting to get through that steel because it's pretty thick steel. So I'm gonna have to think of a new plan. But we've got the main camera of what's gonna go on here. I've got a bit of time with this, so I'm not gonna really do too much. This camera is more for five months of development, which is gonna happen all here, it's gonna change. We have Pete Marquis, you might have seen him on channel four, channel five, channel 12. 
Channel 12. Oh, discovery. Yeah. Channel discovery. 12 discovery. Discovery and quest. Scrap King is here to sort ourselves out. How are they getting this done? Spoke to John, the health and safety oh, yeah, guy, because I know out. what's going to happen here is people are going to talk about the asbestos, and that's the only little thing. Yeah. Price to asbestos. It'll be less than 1% asbestos content in it. We strip it off in an appropriate manner. Lads have got all the PPE and such yeah, like. Yeah, so yeah. it goes into a bin and then it goes to Huddersfield for an approved tip there for burial. So that was a big thing. I just wanted to mention that because I know what's going to happen. Oh yeah, stuff. I mean, people do run a mile when you mention the world word asbestos. And it is nasty stuff, don't get me wrong. But this compared to pipe lagging is a different... <laughs> it's like 10 mile an hour to 100 mile an hour. You know what I mean? In yeah. a car. This will do you very little harm. Yeah. Whereas the other stuff is 100 mile an hour. It will kill you. Yeah, yeah. so you're going to be even more... Okay. It's the word. It's the word that's best. So the lads have absolutely smashed it. So since this morning where they kind of had a look at the job at like 8 o'clock, we're already got one side down. It's completely different from where we're going for. After you've taken the roof off, what's the plan for that? So we'll strip that down, they'll have the roof off. Might not quite do it today, I think it'll be tomorrow. It'll be bare left. And they'll split that sorry that separator for you as well tomorrow. Yeah. Machine will be here later on. He'll start and shear this up. There's only bits of scrap, bits of tube, nothing, really. something, nothing. But it's easier just nipped up and then we can throw it in scrap skip. It takes less room. We've only one load of scrap instead of two or three mangled up loads. Yeah. Uh, and sense. we'll get and get that away to uh, recycling line, get you a bit of a credit on that, and then he'll pull the rest of the building down. Pull everything in the pile and put it through the crusher for you. New crusher's coming, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a new crusher coming. New crusher coming. We're going to dig everything out and have a restart. We've got to go all the way to the slurry pit. And we're keeping in the slurry channels at the moment. We'll the channels in the moment. We'll break this. We'll decide where the channel runs, which is somewhere back there. We'll break the line down there. It doesn't need salt cutting that up. It just be a, it's got to come out in time, hasn't yeah. it? So we'll just shunt a line down with breaker. Get all that away, put it through crush your stockpile, it ready for wearing to ground worker coming in and then they can use it as sub base for your new building. Well, like Pete, it's been really good because obviously I'm quite green at it. Chris at Wearings yourself, it's just so easy. You can ask really stupid questions and they'll not too bothered to answer them. Far easier to ask better move on before we get run over. Yeah, yeah. It's just easier to ask questions, isn't it? You know what I mean? You need to know what's going on and they're not stupid questions, are they? Things yeah. that people ask, you need to know. Someone like myself, someone with a lot of young farmers watch me on this YouTube channel. And they'll ask these questions, how does it work? What does it go on? Asbestos again, we'll be scared of it. How are we gonna do groundwork? It's gonna be interesting when we rip all this out. Yeah. That's a big space. Yeah, yeah that, that's massive it. space when it's done, cleared up, rubbed out. It's horses for courses, isn't it? It's like me asking how to do that cow's foot. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. It's a rough idea, but it, I won't be any good at it. So you ask the question, you get the answer. Big enough for him, that. <laughs> hey, it's a good size, that. I'll do it. We get more a week on height for them than we can for a 17 metre. Yeah, because they can get in little sheds, yeah. like people like us. So, big thank you to Pete for just saying hello. We're going to probably speak to him in the next couple of days as well, as the project gets pushed on. But they're working really hard. It's a bit weird, so normally on my YouTube stuff, he probably hasn't seen it. You know, know. Yeah, a little bit. Um, normally, I'm doing the job, so it's hard to record someone else yeah, doing the job. Get, it's I a very yeah, it's a weird thing. Um, so we're just going to kind of watch them as they go on. We've got the time lapse camera going on. We've got the drone shots going on. Um, but the main thing is we're pushing forward. It's dropping down, and we're going forward. Job done. Job done. Just move some old tyres, I would have thrown one or two of them away. Well, no, they've gone in the silo clamp tyreness, but Dad wants to keep them, so we You never know when you might need one. There is that. Not the mill. Right, yeah. Right, Dad's going to get off. So I came with an issue because... So these walls need taken out. Um, and this is what Pete's here to do. Take everything out, crush it, start again, nice level floor. Um, but those walls keep the cows in the field or they keep the cows out, if that makes sense. So this wall stops them. Dad was like, we'll leave all the walls in until the guys do to come to start building it up because it's going to take a little bit of groundwork to do. But then I was like, well, Pete's going to have to come back and do it. So I've just spoken to Chris at Waring's and he's going to drop some security fencing off tonight, tomorrow. And um, so we're going to security fence it all off. 
because you've got to think it's down here as well. Ah, down here, like we start taking these walls out. Cal's going to go up there because there's nowhere to stop him because we need to take the walls out near, near the slurry store as well. Um, so that, that all needs taken out. So not going to lie, I was a little bit. I was thinking a bit too much and going a bit crazy. So they're going to come tomorrow. Security fencing down there, security fencing down there. I'm hoping cows won't push it over too much. They will have an itch and they will have a play. And then we can fence it all off and then it can be the zone. We'll have to open it up when we start chopping. That's the only issue, which is no bother. We'll, we will do that because it looks like we're going to be chopping next week as well. So <sighs> there is so much going on. <laughs> And we're just at the end of the day. Pete Marcus lads have just finished and my audio didn't record, so that was amazing. Uh, so you'll see me just walking around. But Pete Marcus just dropped off his crusher ready for Wednesday. A uh, brand new crusher put in the field, which is pretty brave because it's a little bit damp. I also just chat about all of Pete's trucks have a custom like vinyl or custom like paintwork on it. Absolutely amazing. This has got a minion one. Uh, the main one he's got is a Toy Story one that's just brought out, which is absolutely amazing. I think it's really, really cool, everything. And they're just dropping the 360 off as well. Hope you enjoyed it. There's a couple of times when the order doesn't come on. I need to have a look at it. Don't know what's going on, but I try my best. See what happens the next day. Just let 120 and 30 cows in the same field as a crusher and a 360 digger. I did say cows are going in this field. Can they lick it? And they said, no. Nah, be fine i'll take a couple of our clips off so wish me luck please please don't do anything bad are we getting on to that day two of trying to get second time lapse camera up this is actually the better one i've set it so it does takes picture every five minutes in between half seven and six o'clock every day apart from sunday just in case it's saturday job to work but i just kind of want to get set up these guys have got a better drill i've got some drill bits and i've got some drill screws so fingers crossed yeah, I've got my drill bit plugged, or it's steel. So I tried to get the time lapse camera up, but it wasn't working. I kind of attached it to there. So fingers crossed it works. We might just check them all tonight. And now they're about to take it all down. Just grab the other side, Bruce. You're keeping it? Yeah. Good gate, this. <laughs> hey! Where's it going? Wherever you want, out of your way. We'll put it on that till bag for now. Yeah, just stick it on there, it'll do. Bit. Coming down. shots today they've started to take off i'll get that moved in five minutes yeah are you all right we're on day two i don't know how much i've said already but you've seen, seen loads of drone shots they're stripping like man's possessed we've got a man on the digger doing the job just unbelievable going off so he's putting it into wood piles and he's putting it into steel piles as well 
making it nice and tidy. Crazy, isn't it? They've knocked the side out here, uh, they've taken all the sheets off, and what they had to use is they had to use the trimmer uh, just to make it safe mill for those guys. They clipped it all off instead of grinding it all off. You can see he's putting a pile of wood and a pile of scrap metal. Not a lot of metal in it, is it? See where it cuts it all. Really quite interesting. Yeah, so they're absolutely smacking through it. And today they might even get onto the separator frame itself as well. The only thing is, I've got to be a wedding taster. Getting married this year as well, if you didn't know, guys. At four o'clock, so it's two o'clock now. I'm just making sure everyone's happy and getting it sorted. <laughs> blue skies good day for it hopefully nothing falls too much in here this feels lower i think there's a piece of wood in here and funny reason how that got knocked down a bull called toby some of you will know some of you won't know he knocked it over slurry pump turned up like it's nothing obviously to a uh, 20 ton machine I've got no idea Yesterday I finished about four o'clock because I had my food tasting for a wedding. Yeah, it was really exciting, it was really good. And uh, Joanna was really happy, which is the main thing. Happy wife, happy life. We left the lads to finish off yesterday. I say left the lads. They did it all anyway. Um, but like me waking up this morning, it was like coming into something really, really different. Obviously I'm used to being in a shed being there. It's like the world has just ended. You know, one of these films that like a tornado's happened and it's just a state. Like, look at this. I have no idea what the kit's called and obviously the lads have just absolutely smashed it and um, the little knife at the front of it that is just absolutely eaten through everything hydraulic cutter on it just yes the metal wasn't the biggest in the world but you know didn't have to make it look that bad it's awesome how you can just separate it good wood i think we're passing this as good wood we might do something with the beams we all know how expensive wood is at the moment the firewood your steel that's going to go in the bin it's all chopped up together steel we asked them just to leave this up because of cows being around there just for one more night. Wearings, who are absolutely awesome, have dropped off some sheeting, so we're going to do that. But I might finish the video here. So we've taken the sheets off. We've taken the shed down to a degree that still needs to be taken down. Surprise how sturdy-ish that is. <laughs> but yeah, so we're getting there. We're getting to it. Next job we're going to do is, say we, the lads, organising all this, then picking it all out. Need to move the separator and uh, the pump. Pump's been turned off, can't pump it in anymore because there's no space anyway. All this is getting knocked out, picked out and separated. Our pipe's coming down as well. Everything is coming down. I think that video is long enough today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. You'll be seeing all this next time, hopefully unless a cow job comes up because we want to see some cow jobs as well. It's really hard to just film everything. Um, I do have a wedding tomorrow at 11 o'clock. So very busy, a lot of work to do before then. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're loving it as much as I am. It's so exciting. I was so nervous to start this video. I don't know why. It's just a big step for me as getting into the farm and doing my first footprint into the farm. Yes, we've done a lot of stuff. So it was our anniversary for the Collinson's bin yesterday. One year that bin has been in. My first investment on the farm. Uh, what have we done? That straw chopper, Primex tanker. There's so much special coming that soon as well, that some of you all know. And we're um, trying to improve the farm. I'm just trying to get better. And hopefully this is going to do it with all the other stuff we have done. It's just put us 10 years, I'd like to think at least, in front of where we were. It was really, really cool. And thank you everyone for watching it. Thank you everyone loving the videos. Really do appreciate everything. All the support. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll see more of these guys and Pete in the next one. See ya. Bye. Oh, and hopefully the timeline videos are working, which I'm going to check today when I get two minutes. See you later. Peace.